Tonight's video is kindly sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend Freeze. Stop whatever you're doing. Take a breath. Don't waste your life. It's time you made some changes. Have you taken down the Demon Lord yet? Crushed the Ice Column? Ascended the Doom Tower? What about fighting against millions of real players in the arena? Where you now can get your life in order because it's time. To raid. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles and PvP arena matches with hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills. You can build your team, develop your champions and raid your way. Use my links below to download raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. I've created what we call the top end list. Let me tell you a little bit about my favourite champions. Let's start with the best themed champions. Now, this created monster, he's so cool. He's obviously Frankenstein's monster. I just love the glowing lightning all around him. I think it's so cool. He has a huge shield skill which is amazing especially for in spider. So yeah I really like him. The next one is Madame Sari. She is an awesome witch as you can see. She's all purple and I love all the little bats flying around her. I think it's so cool and she does these super cute little kicks with her leg on one of her skills. I think it's great. And she's fantastic in arena because she's got some amazing debuff. Now let me tell you about my top five champions that I desperately want. The first one is Minea. She just looks like Snow White and I absolutely love Disney and the princesses. And she just has a bunch of awesome skills. The next one that I want is Sir Nicholas. He is so cool. I love Christmas so much. And he just looks like Father Christmas and a reindeer in one, which is pretty cool, right? The next one is Ursine Ice Crusher. I absolutely love polar bears and he just looks so cool. And he has a bunch of awesome free skills. Next we have Harvest Jack. He just looks so cool. He has a pumpkin for a head, which is great. And I just love the green glowing light around him. I just think it looks really good. And finally, Little Miss Annie. She is absolutely amazing. I love anything horror related. And just look at the beating heart you can see there. That is just so cool. I've been playing Raid now for about 12 months and I absolutely love it. It never gets boring because there's always something to do, a new thing to work towards and I'm just loving collecting all the champions. This month Raid just released a huge new Doom Tower update. There are two new bosses to take on, Astranix the Dark Fae and Bommel the Dreadhorn, along with new enemy balance on new secret rooms to discover and most importantly new artifact sets to win. If that's not enough the whole month is packed with awesome events and tournaments including one very special event with a brand new feature Super Raids. Super Raids let you double up your rewards from eating dungeons and massively speed up your progress. This is amazing for new players and if there's ever a time to start playing it's now because you don't want to miss out. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you will get an epic hero, Shinoro, who is amazing in the Doom Tower. 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. 
and all this treasure will be waiting for you in here. Once you're in, you can find me in the game under the name Be Brave, Be You. And if you're fast enough, you can even join my clan. And it is that simple. Just click on the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. I'm Nurse Nicola, okay? I'm coming to do a nightly checkup, okay? Sorry to wake you, alright? Try not to make too many sudden movements, alright? So, you feeling alright, my love? Okay, you had some pain. Whereabouts? Yes, yeah, so around the wound. Alright. And you have a headache. Okay, whereabouts? Okay. And a little bit of a dry, sore throat. Alright. That's probably because of the tube. Alright. And possibly a little bit of dehydration. Okay. But don't worry. I've had a look through all your notes and the surgery went well, which I know you are aware of. Okay. I'm just waiting for some blood test results, alright. Okay. I know there was concerns earlier about your blood pressure being slightly high. Alright, so Tuck some bloods and things like that. Yeah, alright. Well, I'll just let you come round a little bit and I'll pop on some gloves and then I will start the assessment. Alright. Okay. You just relax. Okay, I know it's quite late and a little bit tired and things. Alright, but I need to make sure that everything's okay. Alright.
if I can just take a look at the cannula. All right, just want to make sure it's working properly. Okay. Okay. Looks fine. Can't see any bruising at the moment. How's that feel? Yeah, quite tender. It's expected. How's that feel? Okay, it seems to be going through nice. Any stinging or burning? Yeah, so that sensation is okay, but it's not hurting or anything. Good. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now let me just check. all working as it should. All right. So, let's check that blood pressure and hopefully it's gone back to normal. All right. So, I'm going to pop it on this arm. All right. nights and still for me. Still quite on the high side. All right, if I can just check your pulse. All right.
so your pulse is a little bit slower than it was earlier, which is a good sign. All right. Do you feel like you've woken up a little bit more now? Good. All right. So, can you see me all right? How's your vision? Is it blurry or... Okay, that's good. All right, so can I get you to just look here for me? Perfect. How about that? Good. In here? Perfect. And about that? Good. Here? Mm-hmm. Well done. Good. Perfect. So you can see all that all fine. Any blurriness or anything like that? Good. Now I'm going to use my light, and I know it's quite bright. As it's the middle of the night, and it might come a little bit of a shock to you. So what I'm going to do? I'm just going to gently flash in your eyes twice. One, two. Okay. And the other way. One. How's that? Alright, so you can see how bright it is. Okay. So, I've been getting to just look here for me, and if you can stay looking here, I'm just going to put my light in there. That's good. Good. Keep looking here. Well done. Well done. And same again, keep looking. Perfect. Good. And here, keep looking. Wonderful. Okay, same again. This side, you look here for me. Okay. Good. Can you keep looking? How's that? See everything all right? Good. Now, you've got used to the light. I'm going to have a look in your eyes a little bit more. All right, they look a little bit red and watery, so let's want to have a look, okay? My nose for me. Keep looking at my nose. Keep looking. Good. Now adjust your eyes. You could look up for me. Back at me. That way, and just your eyes. Good. And that way. Okay, and back at me. Good. I'm just going to pull your eyes apart. Okay. It's going to pull down. Okay. On the other side. Okay. All right. You're doing well. Now up. Well done. 
that looks really really good all right okay what I would like to do is just have a feel around your sinuses and your glands okay because you are complaining of a headache I just want to make sure there's nothing inflamed or anything like that all right okay all right tell me if you can feel any pain good good okay All feel all right good right let me take a look at your mouth so you see you've got quite a dry mouth all right tilt your head slightly and open wide for me okay that's it stay there good put your tongue out for me yeah, that's looking quite dry. Okay. Put your tongue right down. Can you say, oh. Yeah, it's very red and very inflamed. Yeah. It's quite sore, actually. Alright. Don't worry. Okay, relax for me. I'll get something for you. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So it could well just be down to your pain relief. All right. Yeah. And then obviously the effects of the anesthetic. All right, my love. I'm not concerned about that at all. All right. Okay, so. Dry mouth from the anesthetic. And two, but of course the inflammation in the throat, alright. And the back of the tongue. Okay, that's fine. I'll give you some anti inflammatory and a special spray for the throat, alright. So your sinus glands. Oh, okay. Good. Right. 
let me have a listen to your chest, okay? Okay, you can pull up the gown for me. That's it, that's fine, thank you. You can just breathe normally for me. Good. Perfect. Okay, take a couple of deep breaths for me. Okay, so in and out. Good. In through the nose and out through the mouth. That's it, that's perfect. going to have a listen to your heart. Okay, if I can just take this hand and check the pulse. Okay, that's it. Perfect. All right, you can relax. Your chest sounds nice and clear, all right, which is what we want to see, all right? So we, we don't want to get any blood clots or anything like that, all right? And your heart sounds great and it matches your pulse. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at the wound itself, alright, I'm not going to remove the dressing unless I need to, okay, alright, just roll that up there for me, okay, I'm just going to have a look with my eyes first, I'm not going to touch, okay, so dressing looks good, no seeping, weeping or coming out of the dressing which is really nice. I'm going to gently just rub over the area. I know, I'm so sorry. You're doing really good though. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm just going to go above the wound. Is that really tender? Feeling for any lumps or hernias and things like that. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to go down the side and we'll towards your hips, okay? Go 
Is that all right? Good. I'm just going to go down more on the pelvic area, all right? How's that? Yeah, so, all right. Okay, can't feel any abnormal swelling or anything. Okay, can you just tell me if you can feel? I know you can feel pain, but does it feel numb, tingly, or slightly numb? Everybody says that. That they can feel all the pain, but it feels quite numb. <laughs> okay. Good. Feels great. Okay. I'm happy with that. Alright, you can put your top down. Okay, my love. Right. I won't need to change that or anything, okay? But don't worry. I will definitely get you the anti-inflammatory and that will help reduce any swelling, all right? Just to give you the heads up, I don't know whether you were told this before, but the numbness could last for quite a while. Sometimes people don't actually get that back, all right? Yeah, but you'll find it's just sort of like a mild kind of weird sensation if you touch your belly, all right? You'll find definitely for the first six weeks, to be quite bad and you know people recover at different rates okay so you you know some people go into a year and then it gets a lot easier and things like that it just depends okay all right but you know I've got nothing to worry about like that it won't affect anything okay my lovely you're very welcome so let me just jot some notes all right blanket, alright, don't worry. Right then, okay. something for me now. All right. If you could just raise your arm up for me, just this one at the moment. Okay. And the other side. Okay. Can you do both at the same time for me? And just hold. How's that feel? Okay, just relax. Yeah, a little bit of pulling, tight sensation on the tongue. All right, any numbness or tingling? Okay, that's good.
Now this is going to be a little bit difficult, but I want you to do it as best as you can. All right. If you can just slightly raise your leg for me, okay? Just very slightly, because I don't want to pull anything. All right. So that's it. Very gently. Okay. And relax. It's all right. And the other side for me. All right. Okay. That's fine. You stop. Yeah, a lot of discomfort. That's right. Yeah, that's very normal. Um, we have to try to do a little bit of exercise here and there. All right. I know it's the worst thing we want to be doing, but just a little bit, especially because you have been sat there now for a very long time. Okay. But that's fine. Is there any numbness, tingling, or pain, or anything in your legs? Good. That's what I like to hear. That's good. Alright. So I'm just going to. and I just want to gently go like that on your palms and the soles of your feet okay I can just take this hand first okay just pop that be very gentle don't worry so just down the fingers first do you feel all that Cross the palm. Make a big cross. Feel all that? Good. And just on the wrist area. Just gently. Good. Put my hand down. The other side. Okay. Down the fingers. Feel all that tingling or anything? Okay. Now cross on your palm. All right. And your wrist. Wonderful. Okay. Right. You just stay there for me. And I'm just going to go down the center of your foot first. All right. Sorry. <laughs> um, so you can feel that if you've slightly moved. Yeah, a little bit ticklish. That's good. I'm just going to on your toes. Just go like that. Okay? Did you feel all that? Wonderful. Relax. Same again. Alright, straight down the centre. Sorry, I guess that's fine. And now just on the toes. All alright? Perfect, well done. Just relax for me. Alright. going to check your temperature. All right. Okay. That's perfectly healthy. So we like to see. Yeah, because sometimes our temperature, you know, can raise when we've got an infection. So we need to keep an eye on it to make sure it's not going up. If it is, then obviously we need to stop looking at infection. All right. Uh, yes, you can come through. 
through. Hello. Oh, brilliant. Okay. If I take those from you, can you just put them on? Uh huh. Okay. Let me just have a look. Mm, yeah. So, no size infection is great. Strength of dehydration, which I expected. Okay. Um, Alright, no problem. Thank you so much. Alright. Okay, so at the moment you're not showing any signs of infection, which is great, all the bloods are clear. However, it is showing that you are dehydrated. Alright, so I'm going to have to put some more fluid in. Alright, okay my love. Right, so... From the check side of things, everything is on track and as it should be. Alright. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get some fresh water, blanket, and a new IV and some medication and things like that. Alright. Okay. Okay, no problem, you're very welcome. But you just take a rest for me now. Okay, get yourself comfortable. And try not to fall asleep though, because I don't want to wake you up again, because that's not very nice. Alright, I promise you I won't be that long at all. Alright. Okay. You just get some rest, alright? Okay. See you in a little while. Hello, lovely. You doing all right? Good. So let me get you nice and warm. Got you a nice fresh blanket. Okay. Quite a nice and large one. How's that? Good. You can get yourself comfortable. Right, I'm going to pour you a nice drink of water. Alright, I've got your nice, cold, fresh water and a nice, clean cup. You go, my love. All right, you got it. Okay, just take some nice drinks. All right, please don't take too much. All right, don't guzzle it or anything like that. Okay, I'll just take that easy. While you're doing that, what I'll do is just get your meds. All right, I've got them all with me, but I just need to give them you. All right, you're welcome.
Okay, you could take these for me. Alright. Okay, got it. very much. Okay, so we've got that there. Okay, I can take that from you now, don't worry. Okay, thank you. some codeine. All right, I'm going to pop a small amount of morphine through your IV. All right, it balances out to give you the right dosage, so don't worry. Did they move the catheter? So they removed it earlier. Okay, that's good, no problem. Have you managed to go to the toilet yet? Okay, not yet. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, your legs might be still a little bit weak anyway, so... And if you don't need it yet, don't don't force yourself, all right? But later on, if you do need it, just press the buzzer and I will come and help you. All right, I am on all night, so don't worry. Okay. put some of this morphine through. Fresh one of these. Okay. How's that feel? Does it come through nicely? The trips are good, so it's fine. Look. 
Great. Does that feel alright? Good. Perfect. So let me just. Right, my love. Everything is complete, so I can let you get some sleep now. All right. Nothing to worry about. I'm quite pleased with your recovery so far. All right. That's correct. So that's there for a good three hours. All right. You'll probably start to feel sleepy now with the medication that I've given you anyway, so it should help you get comfortable. Like I said, if you do need to go to the toilet or need me for anything else, please just press the buzzer. Alright. Okay, you've got your water on the table there. Nice fresh blanket, so everything's alright. Okay. Is there anything I can help you with before I go? Are you sure? Okay. You're very welcome. Okay, my love. So you get yourself nice and comfortable now and just, you know, close your eyes. And just relax, all right? And don't worry, everything will be fine. I will see you in a good few hours, all right? You're very welcome. Now you take it easy, all right? You take care. Bye-bye.